हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स अज की इस भीडियो के जोड़ा स्टैटिस्टिकल मकैनिक्स का यूनिट नंबर दो दैट इज़ इंसैम्बल्स इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स वो बारे गलबात करा एंड इस यूनिट के वी विल डिस्कस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इंसैम्बल्स इन डिटेल सो दैट इज माइक्रो कनोनिकल इंसैम्बल कनोनिकल इंसैम्बल एंड ग्रैंड कनोनिकल इंसैम्बल्स एंड असी हर एक इंसैम्बल्स दप्लीकेशन है वह भी विद एग्जाम्पल जिटेल डिस्कस करा सो दिस इज आल द टॉपिक्स विच वी विल कवरज इन अवर लैक्चर विच वी विल फिनिश इन एट टू टेन लैक्चरस सो सब तो पहले आप स्टार्ट करा माइक्रो इकनोमिकल इंसैम्बल्स के नाल एंड दैन वी विल डिस्कस द टू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ क्लासीकल आइडियल गैस एंड हारमोनिक ओसीलेटर्स एंड द इकनोमिकल इंसैम्बल वी विल डिफरेंशिएट हो दिस इकनोमिकल इंसैम्बल इट इज़ डिफरेंट फ्रॉम माइक्रो इकनोमिकल इंसैम्बल एंड दैन वट इज़ द मेन इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट दैट इज़ द पार्टीशन फंक्शन सो पार्टीशन फंक्शन की डेरीवेन करा एंड दैन वी विल डू सम कनोनिकल इंसैम्बल एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक द कलासीकल आइडियल गैस द पैरामैगनैटिक प्रॉब्लम एंड द हारमोनिक ओसीलेटर प्रॉब्लम एंड द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ इंसैम्बल विच वी विल कवर इन दिस यूनिट इज ग्रैंड कनोनिकल इंसैम्बल एंड वट आर द एनर्जी एंड डेंसिटी फ्लक्चुएशन इन दिस कनोनिकल एंड ग्रैंड कनोनिकल इंसैम्बल्स and at the end we will discuss or close our lecture or close our chapter that is with the virial equation of state so all these topics uh, we will cover one by one and we will start from this uh, micro canonical ensemble so before explaining uh, the uh, all these three ensembles i would like to explain so what is basically an ensemble so jivein ki apa pichle unit de vich vi थोड़ी बहुत इन ये बारे गलबात की सो इंसैम्बल इट इज कलैक्शन ऑफ अडेंटिकल सिस्टम विच आर मैक्रोस्कोपिकली समॉलर सिमिलर बट microscopically different so in our unit number 1 we have discussed about the macro state and micro state of a system and uh, now what is this uh, macroscopic uh, and the microscopic approach so microscope or micro state is a specific configuration of a thermodynamic system that occupy with a certain property in the course of its thermal fluctuation so microstates uh, in our first unit we have discussed three types of microstates that is the number of particle volume and the energy of a particular state so so these states are represented with the microstates apart from that uh, position momentum spin so these all are examples of the micro states of a system and second is macro states so a macro state refer to the macroscopic properties of a system and what are these macroscopic properties of the system for example temperature pressure free energy entropy and so so a macro state is a characterized 
by a probability distribution of possible state across a certain statistical ensemble of all those micro states so is case the which key yeah key we will first find out the micro state of a system so we will just define so our system is something like has these number of micro states and on the basis of those properties we can calculate the various micro states for that particular system or for that particular distribution so we can study a system in any ensemble and this will give the same thermodynamic results however the approach which we will use for micro canonical then canonical and then grand canonical so the approach is completely different so although we will calculate all those same parameters uh, thermodynamic parameters and micro states like temperature pressure entropy but for each type of ensemble the approach is uh, which we will use that is completely different now three type of ensembles uh, so let us start with the first ensemble that is the micro canonical ensemble now in this micro canonical ensemble the macro micro states which we will use uh, the macro states which we will use that is the n v and e so and in this micro canonical ensemble n is constant e is constant and v is constant so constant means that there is a neither exchange of number of particles between the systems which are present in this micro canonical ensemble there is neither exchange of energy between these systems there is neither exchange of volume all those systems which are present in this micro canonical ensemble so all those systems so they are being like an isolated system so these are the identical systems which are present in this uh, micro canonical ensemble so having n v and e so that is constants so what does it mean so it means the walls of this the systems which are present in this uh, micro canonical ensemble so that is if volume is constant so there is no exchange of pressure so so our systems which is a completely rigid system and if the number of particles they are not getting changed so what does it means the wall are impermeable so that is the complete isolated system and if the energy that is also not being exchanged so it is the non conducting or adiabatic walls or non conducting walls so all this type of systems so that is uh, the n v and e so that is the energy and number of particle for a fixed volume so if they are remaining constant and that type of system is uh, known as the isolated system and this isolated systems when it is present having a large number of identical copies and that type of ensemble is known as the micro canonical ensemble so in this case the density of states which is depended upon the position and momentum coordinates so the density of states it is also coming out to be constant for a particular phase space and except those particular phase space the density has some value which remains constant and when the com when it comes out of those particular phase space trajectories the density value is considered as zero 
so in this case in the number of microstates we will find out the thermodynamic probability and from those thermodynamic probability which is generally known as omega which is dependent on this n v and e and from this thermodynamic probability we can find out the values of the entropy so which we have already derived in our previous unit that is of the order of s k log of omega so this is the connection between this uh, statistics and thermodynamics uh, which we will develop uh, and on the basis of that uh, we will uh, derive some applications uh, we will solve the classical ideal gas problem and the thermo thermodynamic uh, uh, harmonic oscillator problem so this is all about the micro canonical ensemble and second type of ensemble which we will discuss that is known as canonical so i will just uh, uh, give you a, a brief picture so that you can uh, get uh, the complete distinction between all these type of ensembles now in this uh, canonical ensemble the macro states which we will study that is uh, the n v and t so that is always remain constant so when uh, we will talk about all those vertical systems so all those systems whose n v and t value for each system it is having particular value and it this value is being constant so what does it mean so, so it means that there is some sort of energy exchange which is being happened so what does it mean so there is uh, the exchange of energy between the system and heat and uh, reservoir but the overall temperature so that is uh, remaining constant for that particular system so it is the heat reservoir so which exchanges the heat it exchanges heat in this canonical ensemble <coughs> so all the systems which are present in the thermal equilibrium at temperature t of this heat reservoir so all those systems uh, uh, so they are having the uniform temperature with the same number of particle and volume and that type of ensemble is known as the canonical ensemble so to achieve this thermal equilibrium each system it only exchanges energy with this heat reservoir and at a time t before the equation we can derive the internal energy of the systems for this particular case so if er is the energy of this heat reservoir and which is value is being changing so this is the main difference so in this canonical ensemble v is remaining constant so what does it means the walls are rigid the number of particle it also remain constant so it is impenetrable and t is also constant so what does it means it has thermal walls or the walls are conducting so the system uh, the material or the gases it is losing some of its energy to these conducting walls but the overall temperature of the system it is remaining constant so this is the major difference between this micro canonical and the uh, canonical ensemble so this type of system uh, when we talk about this canonical ensemble and this type of system it is known as a closed system so although it is exchanging some sort of energy with this heat reservoir but this system it is acting as a closed system so only energy is being exchanged so from that we will drive out uh, the density of states uh, for uh, the position and momentum coordinates and how it is being changing so that is dependent upon the hamiltonian functions with the beta factor so this beta factor which is dependent upon 
1 over kt and from that we can derive some sort of a particular density of states relation and then we will derive uh, the partition function so which is uh, explaining those uh, the thermal distribution of this particular in, uh, within this system and from this partition function we will derive various thermodynamic parameters such as the Helmholtz free energy, then we will drive the temperature, pressure and so and so. So we can calculate uh, the various uh, thermodynamic par parameters uh, using this uh, partition function equation for this uh, canonical ensemble. So this is uh, all about uh, the canonical ensemble in brief and this uh, uh, is uh, the main ensemble which is uh, very much uh, covered in your syllabus and uh, we will do a number of applications of this canonical ensembles and using those various applications we will drive out the partition function for each case and from those partition functions we will calculate the various thermodynamic parameters for each different example. So next type of ensemble which we will discuss in detail that is the grand canonical ensemble. So in this grand canonical ensembles the microstates which we will study so that is the mu, v and t. So where mu that is known as the chemical potential, V is the volume which is dependent upon the pressure. So like the chemical potential it is dependent upon the number of particle so which they are being exchanged and T that is the temperature. So temperature which is dependent upon the uh, energy factor and if there is being exchange of energy then we can directly drive the relation of energy with the temperature, the relation of pressure with volume and the relation of uh, this uh, chemical potential with the number of particles. So in this type of systems N is being changed. So you can see that if n is not constant so mu is a constant value so what does it mean particles between the systems are being exchanged So T is constant, so what does it mean? Energy has been exchanged. And the third parameter, so that is the volume, it is remaining constant. So volume remaining constant, so what does it mean? The walls are impenetrable okay, so wall are so they are permeable so it is uh, this type of uh, grand canonical ensemble so it is a collection with a particle reservoir of a capacity and a heat reservoir so heat is being exchanged and due to that the temperature we can study so to achieve such uh, thermal equilibrium for this grand canonical ensemble so we can exchange the number of particle you can see so which is related with this chemical and we can exchange the energy. So in this type of ensemble so the particles and the energy it is being exchanged between these systems and uh, using that system we can find out uh, the various thermodynamic parameters uh, how they are being changed or how, what are the difference between this grand canonical and canonical ensembles and on the basis of that we will find out the partition function and we will discuss and study how the value of this partition function how it differs from this canonical ensemble so in this type of case 
so when the volume is constant so what does it means so the walls are rigid so n uh, t is constant so the walls are conducting so mu is being changed so wall are the intermediate so they pay they can penetrate so the particle can penetrate from one system wall to another system <coughs> so from this in this case we will find out the density of states uh, which is uh, directly proportional to the number of particles how they are being exchanged and uh, plus uh, it will uh, depend upon uh, the beta value how it is being changed with the change in temperature and h is the total energy or the total hamiltonian functions so this type of system it is generally known as a open system so in this open system so the energy and the number of particles so they are being exchanged with this system and the reservoir and on the basis of that uh, we will find out the partition function so, so this uh, function is known as the partition function and from that partition function so we can find out the various different densities of states and on this uh, basis of this partition functions we will find out uh, the various thermodynamic parameters such as the Gibbs potential and uh, we will find out the pressure and change in temperature and how it is being happened so this is uh, the brief clear pictures of uh, the three types of uh, ensemble uh, that is the micro canonical ensemble canonical ensemble and grand canonical ensemble so in our uh, next lecture we will start uh, from uh, the micro canonical ensemble and uh, how we will uh, drive uh, the density of states for this micro canonical ensemble and then we will uh, uh, do this uh, one or two applications so okay students uh, till then goodbye see you in the next lecture